right same thing huh? I think uh, some of you actually may have seen this line okay but uh, if you haven't if you have just uh, keep quiet so that the rest can learn about generation Y they have a Bible to live on these are the eight verses in their manifesto I want freedom in everything I do don't kong kong me don't condescend me don't tell me what to do don't command me don't autocratic me don't dictator me we love to customize and personalize I give you a uh, uh, desktop computer with my company screensaver tomorrow he will change it to a Ferrari with a hot chick <laughs> customize ma, they like to customize ma. scrutinizers and check people up online wow if this agency principal ah, yeah, no one have Facebook don't have YouTube then so old school I also don't know want to work with him la. okay right okay means you got to be cool with these guys la, if you want the, because generation Y is your, your future okay same thing Wow, this negotiator never used online to communicate one. I want to get information about him or her. So can I how to buy property from this guy? I cannot trust lah. Because they are online, ma. Okay. I like this is pretty much the same slides. I'm just making it into the context of the, the real estate business. We look for corporate integrity and openness. Wow, this when I work for this agency, ah, the owner, which is a baby woman, tell me, ah. I'm young punk, you should listen to me. Then after that, uh, tell me off like I'm a small boy like that. Don't want to work for him now. You, you guys getting this? This is their mindset, huh? Okay. Uh, for negotiators, it's like, uh, wow, this company, okay or not? Don't even have a website for me to check up how do I trust my listing for him to sell. Don't even have a Facebook presence. I cannot even find you on Facebook. How to trust you? Because Generation Y believe and rely heavily on these things. You guys understand, right? I'm just sharing their thoughts. Okay. We want entertainment and play in our world. Okay. To them, uh, Facebook is both work and play. Okay, you gotta understand that fact. Don't take it away from them. Same thing when you hire somebody, don't take away Facebook from them. Some corporations which I consult, uh, they take away Facebook uh, and instantly, uh, I think, ten or their entire department left. Because you know why? Generation Y inherit the money from the parents already. They have a choice. They are not trained like the baby boomers to suffer and go through it uh, thick and thin. Generation Y are uh, very fluffy one. No, no good or bad here. I'm not trying to cite anybody here. It's just that they are privileged. No? Too bad no? because we, uh, we, uh, the baby boomers have already let them inherit the money. They have the freedom to choose their job no? because they have money in the bank account. But baby boomers don't have money. So like my parents, they stick to a job for 30 years. All the way. Okay? That's why I have to work hard. No? If they were to come out and do business, but that time also no money to do business. No? Right? Hard times. Where God? So they have done the best for me, so I have to carry the legacy. So my kids will be spoiled. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh. Okay, right. Some of you already, I don't know. Uh, I, I think some of you resenting me, some of you loving me. I don't know. Uh, okay, but hopefully you see me as a sincere sharing of the ugly truth. Take it positively, objectively. Okay, cool. Right? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I would like uh, sorry, eight comments. Okay. Right. Okay. I, I hope that you will, you will fall in love with me. No, not in a romantic way, though. No. Okay. <laughs> My, my wife has that spot already. So, we are a collaboration and relationship generation. Okay? Um, they like to work together with partners and everything. They want to be seen as equal. Don't go and say, you young punk, you listen to me. Do that, bye-bye. Whether a buyer or even a, a, a staff, bye-bye. We are a generation of speed. Okay? Because of Google, they can Google anything. They can give you any proposal. They can give you any form of information. They can get things done very fast. So if you know how to harness the power of Generation Y, your organization will thrive. And also because of the generation of speed, if you have a presence online as a negotiator or an agent, they also buy property from you faster. Law. Then commission more. Law. Then you become rich faster. Law. Correct, no? Yes? yes yeah. Okay, a bit cool already. Is it the nasi lemak in your lunch or what? Okay, right. We are also innovators, okay? So they can um, take something and which is already created by the baby boomers or whatever in the previous generation and just modify it and come up with something new. Because of the fact of the internet wealth of knowledge. So this generation can work really fast. But we just need to like, uh, uh, let me just give you an example. Have you seen those movies where the Kung Fu master teaches a Kung Fu apprentice? The Kung Fu apprentice normally a bit rebellious. Huh? But the moment you can find how to deal with this person, he becomes the super master. That's how Gen Y is. Understand them, 
man don't manage them but harness them yeah, like uh, uh, something like that he, he is uh, but he uh, then he, he used the power to train train the kung fu the panda ma. okay right correct 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 so that's how you do your gen y you understand them harness don't resent harness tai chi ah say like ta like okay see that don't see them as negative or positive just see that okay how do i in the end harness to my advantage by first understanding them seek first to understand then to be understood okay cool cool okay All right okay next uh for those who know this picture don't say anything uh how many of you know who is this guy okay the founder of facebook okay naturally because i put the big logo big big here uh how much money do you think he has and how which generation do you think he is again uh, guys uh, if you have questions leave it after or any comments leave it after the presentation so that the video can finish first okay uh but just answer straight to the point how much money do you think this guy has and which generation is he how much money i can tell you i think he's worth uh, 5 or 50 billion he can buy any property you can offer to him he's a generation y hero the new steve jobs okay a lot of people are saying this already but he's a generation y but he wears slippers to work you know and jeans and t-shirt no can you say he's useless he's not the icon everywhere but he's just he is just successful in the way uh the generation y uh uh culture is he may not be successful in real estate but he can build online real estate like facebook he owns 800 million of us in some ways so he's very good in virtual real estate not physical real estate but virtual he conquers the online platforms and uh spaces okay and he's worth yeah the new steve jobs his name is mark zuckerberg let me just write it down so when you talk to generation y ah you talk about this guy ah Oh, if they don't know who's the founder of Facebook, or you say you don't know ah, then you become more cool than them because you know their hero. You don't know ah. Let me tell you lah, Mark Zuckerberg. Wow, now you look like so cool in front of them. Wow, I also generation Y. I also don't know. Now I know. Ah, uh, now you know. Okay. Then they, now you become so cool in front of them. Okay. How many Malaysians are on Facebook? Let me just show you this. If you log into Facebook. Hopefully the internet uh, is fast enough for me to show. <coughs> How many Malaysians are on Facebook? And let's just do some case study. Hopefully, Hi, zoom. Right. If you haven't used this tool before, uh, some of you may not have used this tool before called advertising, but it's an amazing tool to do market research. Huh? I don't use it every day. I just use it for market research. I don't pay advertising every day. Okay, if not, I'll get broke lah. Okay, I use it whenever necessary. Uh, I've cl spent close to two thousand US dollars uh, to advertise my Malaysian business level fan page. Okay, right. Um, uh, but I don't use it every day. I use it to a point where I think I can uh, carry more people towards the page. Then I stop. Okay. Like, but the more important thing I want you guys to see is, and hopefully this thing turns out well. Uh, is it? Okay. Malaysia, we are looking at. 9.5 million people above 18 years old on Facebook. How many people are in Malaysia? 27 million. 28 ah, uh, 28 million, 28 mil ah. Uh. Okay. Actually, that is not the correct answer for all people on Malaysia. I'm just gonna do any age to any age because you can start being a Facebooker by age of 13. But obviously, some people just fake their age, and even nine years old already on Facebook lah. Uh. Okay, like my nephews and nieces, huh? Okay. Correct answer is we have 12 million on Facebook. Okay. On FB, eh? But prior to this, there's one more number which I want to show you here. How many Malaysians are online? Okay. You may want to jot down this internetworldstats.com. Internet world stats with the S uh, dot com. I'm just going to go to Africa or Asia stats and I'm just going to go to Malaysia. Asia only and Malaysia. 
Malaysia population 28.8 million. 10 years ago, we have 3.7 million internet users. Today, we have 17 million online users. So, Facebook owns 12 of us, 12 million of us times 100%. How many percent is that? You guys are better than me at this. Online population is 17 million uh, online Malaysians. Total on Facebook is 12 million. How many percent is that? Come on, uh, guys. 60 plus percent. So 70, 70 already, uh, 70.5, okay, 0.5 percent. And we are growing, I think, at the rate of 50,000 new Malaysians jumping on Facebook every day. Take note of that. And I always joke with uh, my participants. If you want to win the next Malaysian general election, don't use newspapers, use Facebook. And you have a chance to... 70% ma? Uh, I mean, okay, let's say, let's say even all 12 over 28 million la. 12, let's say you cover all la, assuming. I think you will get about 40% vote la. If you do it correctly la. Okay, then the, 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 the rest you just get another 11% or something, then you have a majority in the parliament or something, right? Okay, I don't know much about politics, but... Uh, just a simple uh, thing to trigger your mind on that, okay? Right. Cool? Cool. Cool? cool. Yes? Yes. For those who didn't say yes, can go home? Yes? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, okay. You guys need a break? No? Is it still interesting? Can I continue, guys? Can you give me some response? Yeah. Forget about your acid or gas, gastric or whatever, which is as a result of your nasi lama. Let, let's move on. Okay. So uh, ultimately, now hopefully I have convinced you guys that using at least Facebook is going to enhance your business a bit. Lah. I don't know how much. At least you jump on it, it may have some effect. Lah. Even if no effect, also never mind. At least you know how to learn Facebook and you can, can, can talk to Generation Y as a cool guy. Cool? Ooh. And then as a result of that, because you can have build rapport with the Generation Y who have money to buy a property, then chances of closing the sales is higher. Is that cool? Ooh. Okay, some of you cool, some of you saying... Yes, uh, questions now or later? Uh, later, later. Yeah. Uh, okay? Later. Right. So, okay, some of you may be rebellious or resentful towards what I present. Some of you are embracing it. I hope more are embracing, but uh, don't, don't re resent this. Because I'm not your enemy, the culture is. The trend is, okay, I'm not, I'm just pre uh, presenting, okay, right, so can I continue guys? Yes, yes. Social media is divided into four categories, <coughs> social networks, forums, blogs, and wikis. Social networks are like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube also are, uh, YouTube is a video sharing site, but it's also a social network of video creators and video viewers, it's still a social network, it's the number two search engine after Google. Not Yahoo. Number two is YouTube. You can double check that. Maybe the ranking drops and up. But normally when I want to look for something, first I go to Google, cannot find. Then I say, I want to see a video review of a, a new product. I'll go to YouTube. I won't go to Yahoo. You guys getting this? Huh? Yes. Okay. Right. So uh, social networks. Then forums. Forums is like, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a place where you share about a particular topic like a gardening topic or laoyat.net okay hopefully you guys have heard of it it's the most biggest forum in Malaysia that can not only talk about technology but all kinds of things uh. okay let me show you guys some of you are like staring me blankly already but never mind okay forum.laoyat.net okay this is where all the good and bad news of Malaysia happens seriously laoyat.net yeah so, so, of course, uh, initially Laoya was created as a technical platform to talk about technical things. Lah. But as we go by, we talk about finance, arts and designs, yeah. real world issues. I think this blog has close to about half a million users or something. Uh, I don't know. But at least, you know, they, they talk about things. And I think millions of Malaysians read this. Apart from Malaysia, Kini. Okay? So these are all the unfiltered stuff. It could, I could be talking about your brand here and say, hey, don't join this seminar, like, hey, don't join this company. Like. It happens here. Uh, also here, also. Uh, you, 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 yeah, you can check it. You can check it. But uh, I don't know, like, I, I haven't read the, the other brands. I'm not supposed to say any brands in the video. Okay? But you can check it out. Okay? 
La forum dot laoya dot net. So it's a forum where uh, two-way communication happens a lot. Blogs are simple. Uh, a particular guy who is expert in something, they just say something on his blog post, and then after that you comment on it on a particular topic. Let's say you are a guru on real estate. You can talk about real estate day all day long on your blog. Top 10 tips on how to buy property in Damansara and people will comment. It's a form of communication. I'm just saying this is a two-way communication platform. That's why it's called 2.0, two-way. We have evolved from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0. Web 2.0 began in 2004. The moment YouTube was created or something. Friendster was created and became big. So that was the beginning of the era of Web 2.0. Okay, so this is internet story. La. Internet, uh, internet growth and uh, and the involvement of the internet. Okay, wikis is like your online mahjong paper. Last time when you were in your school or your college, uh, uh, teacher give you one mahjong paper for people share to draw something and pass up as an assignment on the wall, right? You guys haven't done that before. Like, okay, brainstorm on this. I give you a mahjong paper. Four of you actually brainstorm so that you can come up with this. Like five of you guys, five, 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 five. No, she can no. Uh, no mahjong paper, okay. Uh -huh. right. My time was mahjong paper when form 4, form 3, they, they give me okay. Murid, murid, guna mahjong paper, present your opinions. And seminar also do that. Okay? Wikis are like that. Everybody can log in to a website and uh, contribute ideas online. It's an online mahjong paper where four people from Thailand, UK, US, Australia can log in all at the same time, edit their one piece of Microsoft Word online or something. And finish up with a project paper. Different time and same time also can. Concurrently also can. So that is a wiki. Like Wikipedia. You know Wikipedia? Everybody can edit or no. Even you can edit or no. You, let's say you, you, you found out something which is not true about Jackie Chan. You can edit. But the thousands and millions of other Wikipedia users who found out the more better facts than you, they will come back and edit it back and make it correct again. Ah, so I can start a listing about uh, ABC, real, reality, real, Realty. I can I can say something about it and my information may not be correct. Other people will start editing it to the correct. We call it the power of the internet crowd. Millions of minds coming together to form an encyclopedia. That's how Wikipedia works. It's not published by one company. It's managed by millions of Wikipedians. Okay? So that's an entirely new concept for a lot of uh, the older generations. But for Gen Y, it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's normal to us. We have millions of us online who can manage things together. And harnessing that millions of brains together, wow, Wikipedia, the new encyclopedia, was created. OK, cool? Can I move on? Yeah. Right, thank you. OK, so like I said, if you want to build online branding, you've got to talk about something called the social dynamics. OK, social dynamics means how credible are you online? Can you be searched online on Google? And when people find you on Google, let's say I type Russell Chai, what do I see and read about him? You want to take the challenge? I can do it right now. Yeah, do it. Okay, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You may, <laughs> you may want to jot this down. It's also called the vanity search. Okay. You may just want to googling a name is called vanity search. Googling yourself is extra van vain. Lah. Okay? So it's called vanity search. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was supposed to type in uh, Russell Chai. Sorry. You sure? You sure? You got good stuff huh, before I do this? Uh, you have done it before. So, okay, Russell Chai. Okay, he's found on Facebook. So if I want to sell. Okay, cool. So if. I, I want to uh, find this guy and I found him on Facebook. Obviously, I can click into his profile and check him out. If I cannot find this guy, I won't trust him already. Unless he's a close friend of me, mine offline. Or if I already know you and you say you are a cool uh, negotiator, I will search you first. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, so this is Russell Chai. Okay, first thing uh, M I E A and all dinner. Wearing some form of a jacket, at least gain some credibility from the seller or the yes. buyer. Right. You guys getting this? Yeah. Simple things you can do on your Facebook profile to increase your name and credibility. What if he was wearing a singlet? And a slipper or something. Uh, 
<laughs> guys getting this? Simple things, simple things. Okay? All right. So, uh, uh, let's just try and see what other stuff he has. Okay. Basically, having a website to brand your name. I don't have vincentcheng.com, sadly, because it's taken by some Australian or New Zealand realtor, which is good for him. If you go to vincentcheng.com, it's an Australian or New Zealand real estate negotiator or agent. Too bad for me. So I, I rely on my Facebook fan page a lot. Okay, cool. Hopefully you guys learned something here. Can I can I move on? Yes. yes. Okay. Don't want you guys to get bored, huh? Because of one uh, point which is uh, being too too long. Okay. What economy are we in right now? Okay. What I'm trying to share here is. Okay. Let me just put it in red so that you guys understand. Okay. Good. Attention versus uh -huh. capital. Today, uh, if you have a million or a billion dollars uh, without and don't know how to gather online attention, you may lose all the money because you dump it into TV, radio, newspaper, which is going to be expensive. So you may have a lot of money, but it won't respond to you. But if you know how to gather attention online, even if you don't have the money, you can make the money back. You guys understand what I'm saying? No. Let me once say it again. Okay. I'm sure uh, if you have done advertising for the past few years, you will notice that the conversion rates or the lead generation is dropping. Uh, uh, a 5,000 ringgit on a local daily on a quarter page may have yielded you hundreds and uh, hundreds or even thousands response in the, in the past five or ten years. But today it could be two or three phone calls only after you invested 5,000 ringgit. Right? So you may uh, feel like, okay, uh, something is changing here. We, we have to innovate a bit. Yes, uh, two days ago, I was talking to one of the uh, major financial CEO of, uh, of KL. I cannot name the brand here. He told me this, uh, Vincent, uh, when I did my business 1996, when I do a quarter page on local daily, I get at least 300 phone calls. But today, hardly more than 10. Not surprising, huh? It's, it's the truth, right? It's the truth, right? So what has changed is because he told me, Vincent, I've got a competitor who uses online a lot. Gen X versus baby boomer business. Doing business. And this guy is getting all the attention online. Okay? So think about that. Think about that. Okay? If you don't harness this thing, if you resent this thing, then a bit hard on your business. But if you embrace this, you may get some attention. Even if you don't, again, you can still talk to a Generation Y and appear cool. That is something to gain back as well. Okay? At least you know what's happening in the world, uh, in terms of their world. Okay? Right. Does money really matter? It still does. If given the chance, I want the money and also the attention. But uh, maybe some of us don't have the luxury. If you don't have the money, then get the attention. Online. Okay? Right. So, when you get attention online, like you build a fan page or you have a YouTube channel that speaks of your credibility, that is what I call social currency or asset. It's a social asset. Okay? So, the, the first thing is, uh, if you want to do uh, business in the real, uh, new, 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 new age, First thing is, how credible are you? When I ask this question is, how credible are you online? Do you reflect a good brand as a good negotiator, a good agency? <coughs> do, do you send out a positive image? Are you even searchable in the first place online? Okay. Uh, I, have, I, I begin to see even baby boomers are using Google to search, you know. Not only Gen Y, right, Russell? Yes. Baby boomers use the Google to search out somebody which they can trust or not. So this is not fantasy. Eh? This is not like saying, hey, Vincent, wrong generation. Ah, your method don't work. Lah. It's not my method. It's just the culture. More and more baby boomers are jumping onto Facebook. Maybe for right or wrong reasons. Some want to jump on Facebook to monitor their kids who they are talking to. But they are jumping on it. When they jump on it, it means what? They have money to buy a property or not. If you know how to get their attention on Facebook, can they buy a property? Yes. It may not happen so soon, but in the next few years, you will see more and more baby boomers having to somehow, through life or family uh, situation, they will embrace this online thing somehow. More and more. Okay, it's a trend. Okay, 
I'm not, I'm not speaking out, out of my own uh, observation on it. It's a trend. Okay, cool.